Hey ladies, what's going on? It's me and I am back. First of all, I gotta apologize y'all. My computer is broken right now. So right now I'm on this little iPad and I'm like, I just still have to just upload a video. I won't be able to do my editings and everything like that like I want to. But I just wanted to give you ladies an update to let you know that I'm still baking. I'm still praying, still still pregnant so i'm i'm very grateful for for that today i'm actually 20 weeks and four or five days today is saturday so i'll actually be 21 weeks on tuesday and the cool thing about it is that that's going to be the farthest that i've ever been before and i feel really really confident so um, further ado let me show you my bump and let's talk about everything that happened from um, 18, 19 to my 20 weeks right now. And I, and again, I do apologize about the lighting and, um, the editing that I have going on or whatever like that. So just bear with me, y'all. Sooner or later, my computer's going to be out the shop and we're going to be back in business. But let me just show you bump. I got a lot to tell y'all. So this is going to be a really long taping. So this is my bump. I look really, um, let me see if y'all can see the line. Y'all already know my belly is popped out. So you can definitely see that I am pregnant. <laughs> it's not even, it's so crazy because now people are just coming up to me and they're like, what are you do? Oh, what are you having? So it's not like, and it, it surprises me sometimes because I'm just like, who are they talking to? And then I realized, oh, they're talking to me like they can really see that you're visible down there. So, um, let's get to talking, y'all, because I got a lot to talk about. Okay. First of all, as you can see, a sister got a new hairstyle because I decided to get some Senegalese put into my hair. And, um, I felt like, well, I actually got them done, like, I think almost about a week and a half ago. Um, I decided to get this done because when I take them out, which would be um, at the beginning of May, I would actually be going into my third trimester. So it was actually giving me something to look forward to. So yeah, girl, I got my Senegalese going on like whoop whoop. And y'all, when I went to the gallery, I'm telling you, them, them African sisters, honey, they was gripping my sky. I had to say, look. Please don't do that. And they still in the lesson. I came home. <laughs> my husband was like, babe, I like your hair. It looks nice. And, oh, you got a facelift. Because <laughs> my face was like, wonk, wonk. But, um, anyway, so this basically gave me a goal to look forward to. So, by the time I take this out, I will officially be in my third trimester. Um, today is April the 28th. And, um, I think it's the 28th. Today's April the 28th. And the cool thing about it is we're going into, next week is, um, not, not April, I'm sorry, March the 28th. Next week is April. So, if I could get past the whole April, y'all, I'm in there like swimwear, okay? So, I'm really excited about that. And thank you, ladies, for all of your prayers. Also, too, I want to congratulate all of you ladies that, um, got your BFPs. Congratulate all of you ladies who, um, Got your TTC kits. Um, I sent out a couple of kits to you ladies. It usually takes a little bit over two weeks. It may just take under two weeks. It's coming from China. So you're going to get 60 ovulation strips and 30 HPT um, uh, strips. So you'll have some strips so you can um, see when you ovulate, so you can chase after your egg. And you will also have... Um, you know, some testing strips or whatever like that. And if you anything like me, the testing bandit, I was going crazy with it. So, um, ladies, I'm praying that y'all get y'all BFP. Also, too, I have been speaking to some of you ladies that, um, you know, one of you in particular have been really on my mind. Me and you were actually due the same time in August. You lost your son, and you just recently lost your daughter, Angel. And, girl, I'm praying for you. You're in my prayers, and I just know that God is going to open a door for you and that you're going to be able to have lots and lots and lots of children here on earth to raise. Um, 
your doctor did the wait and see approach and which I'm totally upset with the way your doctor did things but now that you uh, have gained knowledge and certain things and the cool thing about it is that you're in Chicago so Dr. Hannity is like right there and so you're you're getting um your strength back um after enduring the loss of your girl and I just I just wanted to let you know that you're in my prayers and um you know you're going to get through this you got through it before you're going to get through it again and just just like the ladies pray for me, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Um, and also, a lot of you know, we also have a group call, 40 Weeks to Go. So if you are trying to conceive, recently dealt with the laws, um, you know, drop me a line. I'm going to put my email at the bottom, 40 Weeks to Go at gmail.com. And let me know if you're down for the cause or whatever like that. This is a nice group of women. Um, and everybody is... is has the same cause they want to be a mother they are mothers postpartum um you name it so um let me know if you're really interested in that y'all i'm so sorry about this light the lighting i'm trying to scoot up so y'all can see my face so i don't look like i'm way whatever so what's been new okay let me tell you what's been new Number one, let's go back to, I think the last time I posted was 17 weeks, right? Well, in my 18 weeks, I have been feeling this hollow feeling. Um, Where's my phone at? I have been feeling this. Um, Excuse me, y'all. I'm not going to be doing any. I'm trying to see if I can get my phone to pull up some information. But I have been feeling this real hollow pain feeling or whatever like that. Um, like as if, and I told y'all last time, like as if my vagina bone was hurting and I, um, one of the ladies, well, the lady from Abba Loopers, she actually sent me some information and, and told me exactly what it was that I was feeling. They have a name for it, but unfortunately I can't, I don't know where my phone is and I can't edit to actually put it up there to tell you the name. So I'll just put it at the bottom of the video to let you know that particular pain that I have been feeling. I have not been feeling any Braxton Hicks. I have not been backed up. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Steamed vegetables, it helps the sister out. Um, I've actually been feeling pretty, um, well, in my 18 weeks, I have been feeling a little tightening and things like that. And that hollow feeling if I sat too long. And also, too, I have a taping that when my computer is fixed, I'm going to post that up. When Brittany went to Dr. Atlas, to, um, with Dr. M, to actually get her transdominal surclaw show, we taped that. And I definitely can't wait to upload that because I want you ladies to know um, what you go through when you're preparing to get a procedure like that. Um, so it was an exciting journey for her and that I was so happy. Me and my mother was happy to be there for her, um, while she was getting this particular, um, procedure done. So I would definitely have that uploaded. And that was in my 18 weeks. So a chick was on the move. Then in my 19th week, y'all, let me tell you this. Okay, so I had a doctor's appointment and I was ba not even a doctor's appointment. Y'all know that on Wednesdays I usually go get my butt my butt injections, the P70, the Makina shots or whatever, right? To calm my cervix. Y'all already know about that. So I go into the doctor's office and at first I kept having this hollow feeling down in in that bone area that I was telling you about. And um I thought maybe something else was going on, so I wanted the doctor to check me but then it went away so i said forget it i'm just coming in there for my um my shots and that's it so when i came in they wanted me to see doctor doctor had went ahead and um he took my ob went ahead and gave me a sonogram of baby and i'm sorry i'm sitting so low cheapers to the creepers he gave me a sonogram of um he gave me a sonogram of baby or whatever like that. Well, he took a sonogram of baby. And um, he said that, ba oh, 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 your baby is measuring a, a week ahead. He's measuring too big. And I'm thinking to myself, ain't nothing wrong with that. If I, get a, if I have a baby, big baby, I don't care. And then he was like, well, your water level is too much. And then 
He and I'm like, what do you mean my water level is too much? He said I'm supposed to have fifty percent, but it looks like I'm eighty eight percent. He showed it, and then I'm like, so what's that mean? And he was sit saying certain things like he would rather for me to have a five pound baby than for me to have an eight pound baby. And you know, in my mind, I'm like, honey, if I go full time, I don't care if I have a twenty pound baby. How about that? I'm still gonna have a C section. Like, what the heck? So, um. Then he started scaring me, y'all. He was like, because your water can break. You can go into premature labor because your cervix is a weak. I mean, he was just talking back. I was just like, really? So, you know, I felt like, oh, my gosh, you know, like, you know, my water. And he told me not to eat salts and not to eat sugar. And I was like, oh, my goodness. You know, like, why is this happening now, you know? So I was so, so nervous. And he asked me, what did the high-risk doctor say? And I told him the last time I went to the high-risk, everything measured pretty good. I think it was a 4.2 at that time, as far as my sir. What was that 4.2? I think it was a 4.2. Uh, was that 3.69? I don't even remember. But my cervix was measuring pretty good, right? So after I seen him, y'all, I'm nicked. I'm like, oh my gosh, have anybody ever heard of this? Woo, woo, woo. You know, a lot of women chimed in on it. And I'm just like, oh, why is this happening to me? Then um, I go to my high risk last Monday. Because, you know, every three weeks I go to the high risk. And I go back and forth to my OB. And, you know, I'm really nervous and everything like that. Now, instead of me just... So, trying to make sure that my cervix is long and closed. Now I'm sitting up here making sure that um, I don't have that much fluid because I'm scared that what if I rupture or you know things like that. That's the uh, that's the worst fear of a woman who's pregnant with attack is for her water to break or to go into premature labor. I mean, nobody wants to go through that, especially if you dealt with losses before. I mean, regardless of losses, nobody wants to go through that. So, when he told me that, it really nicked me up. And I honestly felt like, too, like he doesn't believe that the particular stitch that I have on me, because I'm his first tack patient. So, if it's foreign to him, he's expecting me to go through what I went through with my two um, prior losses, my two last losses. So, um, anyway, we go to the high risk and everything, right? And this time, um, they did the whole scan where, you know, at the 20 weeks, they make sure the heart and everything, baby's developing on time, right? We went in there, and y'all, I'm going to tell you something. My baby was jumping up and down all around. Water levels was on point. My baby did not measure, because he told me the baby measured 12 ounces. No, my baby measured 11 ounces, and my water levels were perfect. She's so on time now, because remember last time I told you I was a week ahead, where well, she's so on time that she is actually measuring on her due date so i was super excited about that they count all of the toes and everything and that is how i say she yes y'all we are having a girl yes team pink i'm so happy i'm just so happy and her name is symphony um it's symphony hannah michelle hines and um Symphony is because, if, as, as you ladies know, my last two losses, I had Melody Harmony, and it was only right to name my baby girl Symphony because me and her dad, we, we love music. Um, Hannah, my mother loves that name, Hannah, from the Bible. Michelle, Matthew, um, my husband actually named both of our girls. Middle names were Michelle, so we gave her Michelle and Hines, of course, is my last name. So... We were really excited that we're having a girl. And so, um, everything measured good. So, it made me feel like all of that stressing and why would, why would he say those things? And, you know, I just said, you know, he, he told me to be back in four weeks. I'm like, I'll do you better, honey. I'll see you in five weeks. Because I ain't got time to be stressed out. I'm on pins and needles on this time, over on this side or whatever. But anyway... Also, too, um, instead of me going to my doctor's office to get my injections, now I actually have the Allure group, which is a nurse group that is coming out to give me my injections. So, let me show you what these, um, I'm no longer taking the Makita's, the Makina anymore, because the Makina is FDA approved, um, 
and the P17 is basically the what is it called the generic brand and they're way cheaper because the Makina is just so expensive but this is what oh lord I'm dropping stuff excuse me y'all can't be dropping my medicines this is what um the P17 looks like That's with the P17. Now, instead of them giving me one big jar and they would have to take four of them out, they just give you one jar and each one of those, um, the nurse actually takes out and, and pull out. So, yeah. So, I am taking this. Now, what I have noticed, and I noticed this about on my, what was that, 18th week, right? When I had went with my Makina shot, and I guess with any shot, because you know they do your left butt, your right butt cheek, or your left butt cheek. Y'all, one day I was just scratching, like, scratch, scratch, scratch. I mean, I was scratching my butt cheek. I said, dang, why my butt cheek itch like this? And I was scratching, scratching, scratching. And then I looked in the mirror, and they looked like big old bumps, lumps back there, right? And I was thinking, like, oh, my gosh, did I get bit by a bug? Is this cellulitis? Like, what's going on? So, you know, I'm thinking to myself, oh, gosh, I got to make a doctor's appointment. And I was speaking to my friend, and she was telling me, well, maybe it's the shot. So I looked it up online, and, and sure enough, they did say that with the Makina shots or the P17 shots, you can it can cause a, a itching reaction. So... Excuse me, y'all. So I asked the ladies, I was like, do y'all itch when with these shots? They was like, heck to the yes. But I didn't I thought that usually you would itch after the injection. I mean, this was like four days, five days after the injection. So, you know, I was scratching like I don't know what, y'all. But um other than that, I'm I'm pretty much um cool. Um everything has been going good. When I lay down, I have to put a pillow in between my legs. It still feels like, um, I don't, I, it's just a weird feeling. Somebody said like they've been horseback riding for a long time or, or riding a bike for a long time. That's how it feels. And, um, I forgot the name of it. Like I said, I'm going to post it, um, at the bottom of the video. Uh, the lay, um, the nurse was explaining to me that it's certain hormones that your body produces because you start to stretch down there because it's getting baby ready and if you never felt that before with your last two pregnancies then this is a good sign that i'm feeling it with this particular pregnancy so i took it as that like okay cool cool also too you know i said to myself that i really wasn't going to go baby crazy until the end of april um, but y'all, we pretty much in the April and you know, that time is going to start stacking up. So little things like getting lotions and baby wipes and diapers and stuff like that, like that stuff can go a really long way because if a lot of you mothers who already know be about being mothers can know that, you know, those are things you're going to really need. And if you have a stash, it really can kind of help out. And I know dealing with my prior losses, it's just that, you know, some of us feel like, why would I go and buy all of this stuff if this doesn't happen? Well, I have to keep faith. I mean, that's the reason why I, I tried again. And why we tried again was because we had faith that we are going to be able to bring a baby home. So, um, yesterday, I was just chilling in bed. And I thought about it. I was like, I need to get some stuff for my baby. I need to get some stuff for my moving phones. And so... I was thinking, like, I need one of the things that go in the baby's nose. I need little, the little drops just in case she's going to need medicine. I need to start getting some um, rash stuff, some Vaseline, some baby oils. I just need to do some stuff. So, um, let me show y'all. I did go to Babies R Us. Look at this. And I got this little thing. Look what it say, y'all. It says be beautiful. Look at the little legs and the arms on that. It says be beautiful. And this is cute. It's a it's a little outfit. It's a little pants and the little onesie. But I just love that little bumblebee. Whatever it is. I never seen no bee with pink wings. And um I went to CVS and got this. 
And it says baby care kit essential for a baby's first year. And so I went and got this. So it has one of those little squeezy things and all that other stuff in there. And so um, I got other things too. Um, baby wipes and everything. And I'm trying to get back into my... Um, what am I trying to get back into? My coupon and everything like that. Because I'm going to start stacking up. I have to start ordering more... Um, cloth diapers and some regular diapers because you know i want to do the cloth diaper and thing but i need to know how many cloth diapers do i need like how many newborns how many zero three to six months do i need how many you know so i'm trying to look up and see because right now i have some um bum genius and um the other ones, too, or whatever like that. So, I have to try to stack up on some more. I was going through all my stash to see what I didn't have. Also, too, um, I know y'all know I'm talking very, very fast because I'm trying to cram everything into one video. Also, too, Hubby is going to be painting the room, um, the baby room. So, I did go to Home Depot and I got some um, some little color swats or whatever like that so we can figure out what we want to do. We still want to do yellow and white and have different um type of colors that's on the walls and everything like that because i want a colorful baby room for baby um yeah and so um i'm you know we're pretty excited we still have not said a lot of things to a lot of people that we are pregnant but our immediate family pretty much knows even some um, we were at the, we were eating breakfast and they set up, a, you know, they set a prayer to bless the food and was praying for other people and just said, Lord, please, um, please protect Mona and baby. So we were like, wow, they know, they know. Yeah. So we were super excited about that. Um, baby shower. My mother asked about, you know, do I want a baby shower here and there? And I was like. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I didn't want it anywhere else. I just told her maybe I can do something at the house. We can do something at the house, like a moon bounce in the backyard for the kids, cook out, and, you know, just having a good time for a celebration. But my circle has really gotten small. Um, I cut a lot of people off because of my prior losses and the, and the snootiness, the... the just the most evilest things that I've seen and I just you know I cut a lot of people off and a lot of people don't know and um I don't know I honestly feel like for real for real by May my child is going to have everything that she will need and it's not about getting gifts and things like that it's about family and friends to come around but honestly I truly feel like you know, if I had to count my girlfriends, I can only count them on, like, this hand. Like, immediately around the way. And majority of those are actually family members. And a lot of women that I know know and befriend are, like, some of you ladies that look at this. Or you, you're in L.A. and Florida and all over the place. So, I just, I tell my mama, I just want to have a nice celebration with some music blasting. Have a good old time, um, nieces and nephews, and anyone that got some children, moon bounce kids, have a good time. But that's about it. I want something really, really small and intimate for my immediate family, and that's it. You know, I'm not asking for too much. You shoot, what y'all can do on y'all end is toast with the girls. Shoot, get some champagne, wine. If you pregnant, ginger ale and crackers. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, for real. So I'm I'm hoping and praying that I will go full term. I'm projecting that I will at least get up to 37 weeks. My doctor, you know, he said little things like, I'll be surprised if you make it to 35. And I'll be like, ooh, I can't, ooh. And I'm like, watch, you know, when I go full term, I'm going to look at you and be like, oh, so I, I can carry babies. I can go to full term. I mean, it's one thing when you know that your service is not all that in a bag of chips. But it's another thing when you speak things over my life. Like, oh, it's it's just gloom and doom. When I actually went in there and I got a bionic cervix. I mean, shoot, for real. I got a band holding things up. And like I said before, 
I'm at a 4.5 and that is really, really great. 4.5. And my baby was in there chilling, kicking, moving, moving around that when um they had to take a picture of her heart, her doll and everything, she kept moving and going upside down that the lady actually had to call her supervisor in to get a picture of um, Symphony because honey was just jamming to the music. And so, um, what are you doing, Gamera side? What are you doing? And so, um, yeah, so what else? I'm trying to figure out what have I missed anything. Um, my boobs, they, they're getting big. I told you, with my stomach now, um, you know, that's, that's getting big. I, when I look down, I can't, I can't really see my shoes anymore. So, y'all, I'm, I'm halfway there. And, um, as of right now, I'm actually going through my danger zones right now. And I had to post the video because I wanted this for myself for archives, but I also wanted you ladies to know what I'm going through. Also, too, um, my nipples been itching. Um, yeah, as you can see, I don't have a bra on right now because it's like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. And, um, yeah. And when I walk, I, I, I really realized, too, I used to think that pregnant women had this little cute little walk. But actually, it's because... It's something in here that kind of makes you kind of like go to the side, the side, because it helps maneuver baby around. So now that I realize that, um, I feel her kicking more. She kicks and kicks. She kicks in the morning. She kicks in the afternoon or like if I eat something or, or drink some water. I have been going to the bathroom every night. I'm still doing my, um, when I say go to the bathroom every night, I've been peeing like crazy, like a waterfall. I think my, um, my water bill's crazy. Look at my meat and contents. See, I was sleeping. Please leave me alone. And so, um, yeah. And so, what else, y'all? I'm trying to figure out how Am I forgetting anything? Because I don't want to be like, Jack, I should have showed, showed the ladies that. So, yeah, remember at my 19 week, he told me I had too much of water level. But then at my 20 week with my high risk doctor, they said, they bottom line said, you got to post the child pregnancy. And I was like, yes. She said, the tack is high, it's closed. Um, I had a lot of people inquire about who did your tack. And, you know, they were just really amazed at how high it was. Um, my baby is measuring on time, so August the 11th. Y'all, we are pretty much in April, and for those of you who are in Florida, LA, and stuff, y'all already experiencing that 80, 90 degree weather, but on this side, on Thursday, we finally got to like 70 something, and today is like 50, 60 something, so we still in the low lows, but I just wanted to give y'all an update to let y'all know what's going on, um, Come May, I'll be taking this out, and then I will actually be in my third trimester. And from there, it's a home run. So until then, ladies, I will definitely give you guys another update. Hopefully, um, my computer will be working because I got a lot more footage to show you, ladies. And, um, yeah, um, I can't fit into a lot of my clothes. So I try to wear more like stretchy things, but um, this is it, y'all. My little stomach. It is going to be so crazy to see how big this stomach gets. I mean, y'all got to understand, I've only went up to before. I've only went up to... Um, 20 weeks when Harmony passed away, I was 19, six, I think, and I went into early term labor with her in 19, four. When Melody passed away, I was 20 weeks, so it's like right now, and I'm starting to move this pregnancy. I definitely feel a lot different. I'm not having those, um, those exotic dreams like I told you I was having like waking up with them orgasms and stuff like that I'm not dealing with any of that I really haven't dealt with any of, of that um so far with this pregnancy I think maybe early on I probably was but 
No, I don't think I was. I mean, I dealt with a lot of that with Harmony and Melody. And um, then a young lady I was telling you that I spoke to that had her recent loss, she was dealing with a lot of those dreams too. And I think it has something to do with the way babies place your cervix, your hormonal, and um, how things can start to try to open up soon. So I've been feeling good, like, um, I haven't been spotting, and y'all know that's crazy because with my last two pregnancies with Melanie and, Har Melanie and Harmony, I spotted early on, some even in the 15, 16 week or whatever like that. So I haven't had any spotting. I haven't really had any discharge. Now, after I do get my injection, sometimes I do have a little discharge going on, but it's never like crazy crazy um like oh gosh what is this is this water or is this this so what i'm going to start doing is every week i need to start building up my stash for baby because we're halfway there and my i'm scheduled for my c-section at 39 weeks but my due date is the 11th of august so i'm thinking that would be what the 4th or the 3rd of august is when uh, my scheduled c-section will be um, my mother was asking, like, well, what do you have in place once you have the baby, about work schedules and this, that, and the third. And y'all, to be honest with you, I never thought about that. It's, it's kind of crazy because it's just like, I'm at a point in time, I'm not at a point, but usually I get up and go and come as I please, whether I go to work or work from home or if I got to run to the store. And I know as soon, <laughs> that's going to be a hot thing for me and, and hubby, but we're looking forward to it. We are. And so, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to give you ladies an update and let you know where I'm at. I'm still cooking. I'm still baking. I'm praying for all of you ladies to get um, your BFPs. Some of you just suffered losses. Babe, honey, I know. As a matter of fact, April the 6th is when my dear Harmony went on to be with the Lord. And you ladies um, witnessed everything that I've went through and now you're seeing what I'm going through with this pregnancy right here. And I want to just thank you all for your prayers and your support. And until then, ta-ta for now.